right. Hey, everyone. It's Moondog here, and I have Rich on the line here from San Ramon. And uh, Rich won uh, the uh, the contest on the, the 17th. And uh, Rich, so uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? You're from, you're, you hail, hail from San Ramon. Are, are you there? Are you uh, born and raised, or where are you from originally? No, actually, uh, born and raised in uh, Chicago. Moved out to, and people say they can still pick up on the accent. Uh, I don't know. But uh, moved out here I'll, when I only was only when you say the uh, bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, moved out here. Uh, so I was born and raised South Side near Midway Airport, and uh, moved out here when I was uh, my early 40s, and have been out here for about 10 years. So um, yeah, now I'm in San Ramon. Uh, as far as my background, I'm a forensic accountant. So you ah. can see probably if you can see the boxes behind me and over <laughs> over here. So. Um, a lot of paperwork and a lot of digging. Okay, yeah, but definitely uh, sort of the uh, the tools of the trade for a forensic accountant or or a lawyer. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, So uh, yeah, still working mainly from home, but uh, that's all right. It's it, I'm kind of used to it and prefer it at this point, actually, uh, which is surprising. I'm I'm with you there. So yeah, yeah. At first, I didn't know if it was going to work and. You know, if I was going to have too many distractions with kids and stuff, but it's it's worked out. My my pug is walking around here, so if she starts barking for food, that you know what that is. Where is that? That's awesome. How many kids you got? Two, two girls. Uh, one is uh, going into junior year college, and the other is going to be a senior in high school. So, yeah. Oh, awesome! Great. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got two two of my own, a little bit younger. Uh, but yeah, okay. that that, uh, <laughs> that high school and college creeps up fast. <laughs> so it does. It does. Yeah, yeah so, she did the two year community college first, but saved, saved us some money, so we're appreciative. Oh, of that, very good. So. Which which uh, community yeah. college? Which local college? She went to uh, DVC Diablo Valley College, and now she's going to go to uh, finish out her junior senior year at uh, San Jose State. Oh, very good. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Well, Thank I you. should also wish her congratulations. But anyway, um, so um, so you're you uh, you're working uh, out of home and uh, a, um, a forensic uh, forensic accountant and tracking tracking all that hot money. And, yeah, yeah. But um, what, all kinds not, of, you know. All, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say um, the uh, are are you working for a an accounting firm? Or are you working uh, uh, in house for for like a tech company or something? Yeah, I work for an accounting firm uh, with them, and we're the uh, 25th largest in the country. So we've got uh, offices across across the country. I'm kind of the the West Coast anchor as far as the forensic practice goes, but um, but yeah, we we work for with attorneys and clients for embezzlements and shareholder disputes and um, a lot of divorce cases where there's <laughs> that's involved, and of course. One spouse always thinks the other is hiding money, those things. So, um, when a reality, lot of times, both of lot of are, times right? they're right, but yeah, a lot of times they're right. But, uh, um, yeah, so it's very interesting. It's as exciting as you can get being an accountant. Let's say that. <laughs> That's a good way to, to put it. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're not uh, when you're not sleuthing um, those money trails, what do you do for for fun, for for hobbies? I, I'm obviously well, uh, shooting sports. Yeah, shooting sports. That's that's my uh, my main hobby. I mean, I'm trying to get into that more as well as uh, some other stuff. You know, the, now that my girls are getting a little older, I'm doing less driving, driving them around. Um, but actually, we met at the at the FBI Citizens Academy. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you looked um, familiar. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was in your. I I kind of was a a participant in your the video you put out which was great uh, awesome. i didn't i wasn't there for the interviews but i was there for the range and, and you caught me a couple times um shooting at the range so it was a blast and it was it was great to meet you then and then that's how i got hooked up with uh, your channel oh that's right I, I think i featured you at the very end too right was that you yeah yeah yes yes okay so yeah excellent. i was in there a couple times so my uh my family got a kick out of it Oh, good, good. Well, what did you? What was your favorite uh, gun to shoot uh, on that uh, on that day? I think it was. Um, well, it 
you know, I always like I have um, a Glock myself, and I think one of the one of the guns I shot was a Glock, which, um, you know, I tried different ones, but that just always feels like the most comfortable for me. So <laughs> um, I always I always like shooting those. I tried a revolver, and I don't know if I'd buy one of those, but it was good to try a different you know different mix of of guns. And uh, you were one of the safety officers. Um, as well as doing the filming. And uh, those guys are all great. I mean, good bunch of guys that you uh, hang with over there at Coyote Point. Yeah, they're and, all good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Well, I think that's one thing you and I could disagree on. I have I have a Glock, uh, but it's probably my least favorite pistol Is that right? to shoot. Okay. Because uh, it reminds me of like um, uh, shooting a Lego pistol. Because it's so blocky. I just want to, I call it the my yeah. my block 17 yeah so but well anyway, i mean there's but, a, there's other ones there's other ones i would definitely um rather have but uh in california we're kind of limited with the handgun roster oh, so gosh, you got to yes. make the best of the of what what you got make some lemonade right yeah so excellent now um so obviously you saw the video from having seen my um uh, maybe as a follow-on from from the video that I posted of the of the shooting range, or how did you find out about the contest? Um, the contest, I I subscribed to the channel when I saw oh, the uh, yeah when I saw the the uh, the video for that I subscribed. Then I got a notification that you had started the R and D channel, so I subscribed to that. Um, yeah, I mean I've been enjoying it. Your little um, the uh, the New York trip little shorts that are posted on there. Um, and the the latest one I really liked was the Presidio uh, uh, <laughs> Park. So how much was that? How many million was that? I was reading on the Chronicle there was 118 million. 98 That's was, what I thought. But I, was yeah, I mean, private. I mean, when we were kids, I know at least when I was a kid, uh, you know, we'd do that just by going into the woods or behind a factory or something like that, and and climbing on rocks and falling over tree trunks and stuff like that. So yeah, it was a little bizarre, and I, I'm I'm surprised with these days how everything is like overly safe. Um, yeah. I'm surprised they don't. I'm surprised they don't make kids wear helmets, you know, climbing up on the trees and stuff. I was a little torn because I'm very much into free range, you know, raising your kids free range. Like, well, you know, yeah. let them eat the dirt and you know whatever, and you know, yeah. let let them get hurt a little bit because then they learn not to do that. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, but the on the other hand, I'm like. Really, you spent 118 million. Now, granted, it was for the whole, the whole renovation of the area and outside of the that uh, playground. But still, it was yeah. like, okay, you're 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 spending to to move rocks in this area as opposed to that area. And then, well, yeah, and that that tree. I mean, okay, I just don't know where the money was spent. Well, you would know where the money is spent. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. If the uh, if the city council said, wait a second, this, you know, falling over tree trunks and rocks doesn't look like one hundred eighteen million. Then they'd call me to find out what happened. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is a, this is a greater entanglement because it's that's a national park. So we're talking federal money and local money. So <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sure that gets really messy. OK, so for um, for the particular uh, contest. Are are you going to be um what what are your plans by the way are or are do your kids actually participate in, in like airsoft or or shooting sports? No, not really. Um, they're not really. Uh, they're a little afraid of, of firearms uh, at this point. So um, it's just uh, you know a matter of kind of teaching them and hopefully at some point they would. But um, and I'm not really into to airsoft either i've never tried i've always wanted to but just have never had the uh well, now the opportunity. Good, it looks like it looks like a blast it's a good um i actually find it a good training uh tool and very inexpensive especially you really? know uh, over the the pandemic when when you couldn't get ammo and even now when ammo is expensive yeah. uh, you don't get the recoil obviously uh because right. you're dealing with um if you're getting a like a gas pistol um it's uh the recoil is very very light uh, it's a, it's a, it's basically a, a, a equivalent to, to a BB gun, but of course, you, because you're firing plastic BBs, your 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 risk of of uh, damage uh, or injuries is much less uh, okay, than, yeah. than than a steel BB, certainly with ricochets. 
And I can totally understand. My my girl does not like shooting pistols at all. She she much prefers shooting rifles. Um, yeah. I'm, but you know, most kids <laughs> don't like loud noises. I I know I didn't when I was a kid. Right, but I thought sure. it was kind of a fun treat to to shoot a pistol. But I would rather I rather <laughs> shoot a rifle <laughs> when I was a kid. So, yeah, so, for sure, for sure. Um, well, hopefully you'll get a chance to to check it out um, with with a gift card. You can actually, I think you can use it locally, and I'll have to check on this. Evic has an outpost over in Pittsburgh. Okay. And it's a it's an it's an awesome indoor arena. It's the size of two football fields. Wow. Uh, it's a it's actually a tactical training center during the week, you know, for okay. for law enforcement and and private security. Um, and they they. They built it inside of the old Corning Glass warehouse in in Pittsburgh, so it's it's very cool. It's, it's worth checking out. It's certainly yeah, it's a, worth trying. Yeah, same yeah. county. They're in Contra Costa, so um, so yeah, maybe it's worth the drive over there just to kind of check that out and and um, you know what? Uh, hopefully, they have everything on the website is kind of in store. Um, that I'm not. It's it's a or they can just set, or they can buy. I can you know buy it. They can yeah pre-order yeah me, so or yeah, yeah uh, pre-request because I think those cards have to be at least uh, and when I and when I've used them, um you can't use them online uh, through the website. You can only select what you want. You still okay. have the way their system works. The for the gift cards, you still have to do it by by phone. But it's not okay. that hard. It's not hard at all. Okay. 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 Yeah, looking forward to it. No worries. And and if you're ever out over, you know, uh, back over towards uh, Coyote Point sometime uh, or <laughs> have have an interest in in, uh, in having the girls sh- shoot rifle, just let me know and I'll, I'll get my, myself and some other club members to to uh, to be out there and uh, to with, with some rifles and I'll yeah, even bring my own that. water. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm looking into getting, um, you know, maybe some 22 so uh, they could start off with a little less kick. And, Absolutely. Uh, and ease into it that way. So I think that's how a lot of kids kind of get into it. Or a bolt action. I mean, we have yeah. uh, we have 100 yard competitions and those are those are actually kind of kind of cool and challenging. Uh huh. Awesome. Yeah. OK. Anyway, uh, thanks for for getting on uh, and congratulations yeah, on winning. Um, I'm going to have a, a couple of new prizes uh, coming up. So hope I mean, technically, I, I'm not restricting. Uh, past winners from from entering so uh I've Good, actually, i didn't know yeah. so i saw the new one and i'm like hmm okay Good and enough. i i'm going to be announcing a really cool one uh well the 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 uh the eye deagle pellet trap is definitely cool yeah, uh, but I saw I've, got, that. yeah. I've got a big uh a big item that's that's going to be coming up that for i'm actually going to be announcing it early but it's going to be um for the end of the the summer blowout oh, awesome. so awesome yeah uh, enter away and, and tell a friend. All right, we'll do. We'll okay. Do. Well, thanks for getting on the line, Greg, and uh, sorry for the uh, the technical uh, hiccups to at the start. Yeah. And right. uh, uh, for everybody else watching this, please um, you know hit the like button and subscribe, and uh, be sure to hit that notification bell. You'll be notified of the uh, the next contest. You get a contest every week, and you could be lucky like Greg. Anyway, thanks for watching. You be safe out there. Moon dog out. Be sure to check out MoondogIndustries.com for the next contest. No purchase necessary, void where prohibited, and you have to use your skills to navigate your phone to enter this contest. Complete rules are at MoondogIndustries.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to qualify.